Hey guys, welcome back to 3D Print Farm. Hope you guys had a great holiday. Well, we're back with another what's on the bill plate. What's on the bill plate? Let's check it out. Ooh, it looks like a giant sugar cookie, but it's not. Why is my voice doing this? It's because it's from Gotham City. It's a Gotham City manhole cover. I'd like to thank Uncle Jesse for his initial video showing how to print this on an FDM printer. Thought to myself, you know, I'd like to build a coaster out of one of these guys on my resin printer. And I did. Check it out. I used Harz Labs Natural Clear Resin, which is kind of an opaque white. I think it turned out kind of cool. In the next video, we're actually going to paint this and we're going to demonstrate some various techniques on how to age something like this and make it look like it's from Gotham City. Notice their supports on this as well. I think they turned out really good. I actually used the Anycubic Photon Slicer for this and chunked it over into um, Formlabs Preform software to make sure all my supports were in the right place, but printed it right on its end and it actually turned out great. So what I'm going to do is, uh, for all you new folks out there who've never cleaned something, uh, cleaned a print uh, from a resin printer, especially the Anycubic Photon, I'm going to show you how to do this. So the first thing you're going to do is, after you remove it from the build plate, make sure you're wearing these, is get a scraper. Now you can either use a plastic scraper, I choose to use a metal scraper, but what you want to do is you want to go very easily down at the base and just kind of lift thusly and like so and what it'll do is it will it will turn loose like boop boop <coughs> a little bit of cold boop it'll tear right off the bill plate now the next thing you want to do is put this back Now you notice the supports are still here and you can see how pliable these supports are. Now I could go right into the alcohol bath with this, but the problem with going straight to the alcohol bath is that these supports will start to get uh, kind of brittle and I like them when they're really pliable like this. So when they're pliable, I can use the nail of my nail bed of my finger, the nail of my finger and this, these supports will actually just snap off. The cool thing is, is, this has been on my build plate since before Christmas. You're probably asking yourself, why haven't you taken it off? I've been busy. But, you know, you don't have to immediately take the print off the printer. And what I'm doing is I'm gonna crack this off here a little bit. And you see that it's kind of slightly, I don't know if you can see that really well, but it's kind of slightly it's just slightly rough, but actually, I think that turned out kind of cool. I'm gonna use it as a drink coaster. Yeah, Gotham City, baby. You have, you have these yucky, sticky fingers, plus you have this print that needs to be cleaned in alcohol. <clears throat> what I actually like is you need one of these. I found these are awesome. What you need is one of these guys. This is a pickle container for people to store their pickles. Check this out. It has a neat snap-on lid. And it has a convenient little strainer to strain your pickles. But it's not straining pickles, it's straining my 3D resin prints. So what you wanna do is you wanna go over to Walgreens. This is where I purchased this. This is 91% isopropyl alcohol. The higher content alcohol, the better. What you want to do is take this, fill it up, I'm going to go ahead and use the whole bottle. What's cool about this is you can just take the lid and 
snap it right on because it does have a rubber seal. Lid snaps on like so. Bloop. No leakage. Awesome. How awesome is that? So I've changed my alcohol. Uh, it just depends. So the last time I used Har's cherry resin, it turned my alcohol a beautiful shade of pink. That's not bad. You can reuse it, but check this out. This is the little Viking guy that I printed. Well, you really can't tell in the video, but he's kind of a light shade of pink. And the reason he's a light shade of pink is because I left him too long in the alcohol bath. I left him too long in the alcohol bath that was a beautiful shade of pink. I didn't want him to be pink. I'll end up spray painting him and actually I'll end up painting this guy. In fact, we might just turn an episode into painting this guy. What do you think? That sounds like a good idea? Put it in the comments below. I would greatly appreciate it. What you want to get is some of these toothbrushes. Word of warning, don't use your toothbrush from your bathroom. Go to the Dollar Tree, pick up a four pack of these. They're cheap. Take your resin print. Bloop, dunk it in the alcohol. And what you want to do, instead of digging around like this, you can do this. It's like dipping a tea bag. Not really a tea bag. It's like, it's like dipping. He's taking a dunk. What's cool about it is you can take it out and you want to get this and give it a little rub. Make sure that all the resin, you want to make sure that all the resin has been cleaned completely. Ooh, nice and smooth on the back side. So I'm gonna rinse it off in the alcohol. Again, you can kind of use your hands, use your toothbrush, especially if you have a print like this with lots of nooks and crannies and little spots that the resin will not get clean. A toothbrush works fantastic on one of these. So. You can either take a paper towel and dry it off, like so. Now after it's clean with alcohol, it needs to go directly in the UV light. That can either go out in the nature's UV light, which is the good old sunshiny day, or it can go into a UV lamp. This particular UV lamp I'm using is a nail drying lamp. I'll turn the camera this way. Here we go. It may not be plugged in, or it may be plugged in. It's not plugged in. It's on. It's on. You see the UV light? I'm just going to set it in like so. In fact, I'm going to take this camera off of the mount and let you see. Ah. So there you have it. It's curing. I'll get the mount back up here. So there you have it. What's on the build plate? We printed the Gotham City manhole cover. Thank you again to Uncle Jesse and the creator, which I will put a link to in the description below. Again, thanks for joining us here on What's on the Build Plate for 3D Print Farm. I got a special treat for you. You have to check out the next episode. My friend Andrew Adamoff from Russia sent me two bottles of Harz Labs resin. Glow in the dark and neon. What should I print? Tell me what I should print in the description below. I'm thinking about a mini, a miniature, yeah, a Dungeons and Dragons type miniature maybe with the glow. 
Let me know in the comments below what I should print, and we'll print it. See you again next time on 3D Print Farm. Bye now. Is this recording? Is this recording? Is this recording? Is this recording? I think it's recording. What I found best to use is this guy. This is actually a. <coughs> what I. Excuse me. You have to talk before you can understand. <coughs>